Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this little brick stitch bracelet and it's a actually very easy brick stitch to do. I know sometimes brick stitch can be very challenging. I mean it is for me. This we're we're using bigger beads here, a few 11-0s and 15-0s, but it it really it, this is so fast and so easy. You're going to love this. Um, so I, here's the bracelet, here are the earrings. I put it with a little interlaced mini ring, but I think maybe a ring is in order too. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to take it off real quick and show it to you. So I used a magnetic clasp here, which I love. I mean, I love it for this bracelet, and I've been I've been wearing it for a couple of days, and it hasn't come off. So this little clasp works great. So here it is. It's a component bracelet. So we're going to do each component and then we're going to attach them. But it's a very, it, the component goes very quickly and it really isn't hard. And here are the earrings. So I'm going to give you materials for both. The earring is the exact same component as the bracelet. So you can, you know, we don't have to, we, we can make this part of the earring, you know, add the bottom onto the earring. But you can actually do the earring with just two components. It looks really pretty, you know, kind of like that. So then you have two hanging down, or even three if you like them long. You can change how many beads you put in the center here. So very versatile, um, very uh, fun brick stitch, not really, not frustrating because I know it can be. So I'm going to clear the decks. I'm going to get a materials list going so we can start making this component. All right, see in a few. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So the most important thing you're going to need for that, for this uh, component, is this little spacer. And I call it a daisy spacer. It's a tiara. It's by Tierra Cast, so it's you know you can really find it anywhere. I got these at I think at Joanne Fabrics or AC Moore or Michaels or I suppose any craft store that you have in your part of the world. Um, it's a, they call it a six millimeter beaded antique um, silver spacer. It comes I think in bronze and other colors as well but this is very important because this is going to be the center piece of our component and we're going to attach the beads around it all right so you'll need some of those for my bracelet I needed seven uh, but for a seven inch bracelet but, you know you'll you'll adjust how many you need according to how big a bracelet you need I'm using some two by three millimeter rondelles and these are these are just uh, Chinese crystal rondelles. These are actually, I think, dollar bead box strands, and they're really beautiful. I'm using a three millimeter hematite bead. Now, this one we're going to make, I'm going to make on uh, camera, is going to be a, a more casual bracelet. This is, you know, a little more dressy, I guess, because it's pearls and black and white, and you know, so you could. I mean, I wear it every day anywhere. I've been wearing it for the past several days. <laughs> anyway, because it's really very pretty. Um, but I'm going to make a casual one just for a contrast. I'm using an 11 -0 seed bead. This is light smoky pewter. 15 -0, again light smoky pewter. Miyuki's. I have this little sterling silver um, box clasp. It's a single strand box clasp. I use this magnetic clasp. This is actually from the dollar bead box. It I've been wearing it for two or three days now and it doesn't, it, the magnet's great on it. And so I ordered a whole bunch of these. I, I love these little ones. Without the, you can do them with the rhinestones or without for a more casual look. I just happen to have the one with the rhinestones. You need size 11 beading needle. We will be going through some 15 -0s, so I would have a, an 11 is probably best. I don't know, did I say a little stop bead? Eight pound fire line or wildfire. Just kind of be, be mindful of the thread color you're using. Brick stitch does show some thread, so you want to make sure that it looks nice. You don't want the glaring at the thread glaring out at you. So try to get something that's going to recede into the background a little bit. All right, so I think that's about it. Oh, you'll need a couple of drops if you're doing the earrings or whatever. You you know you can put anything on the bottom here. Big you know, charms, doesn't really matter, it's up to you. We're just really um, concentrating on getting this component and connecting them for the bracelet. All right, so gather up your materials and we'll get started making this bracelet. See in a few. Okay, we're back. So thread a needle with about two feet of thread. Put on a stop bead. Leave enough of a tail to sew in, or you can make this first unit with a really long tail and use it to sew on one end of your clasp. That's up to you. Uh, I, just a note before we start. If you want this look, this sort of framed look, you notice how the, the three millimeter pearls and my seed beads are so close in color that they it sort of makes this frame when you look at a distance, right? So the one I'm going to make today is going to look a little different because my three millimeter 
that second three millimeter bead, this the hematite, is it's a real contrast between the seed beads. So that's going to make a difference. So this is more. I mean, you can make a kaleidoscope. You know, just use, just be mindful of the colors you're using to come out um, with a pattern that you love. All right. So pick up your spacer. I'm going to pull in super close and pick up a three millimeter and come through the spacer. like that. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to move this out of the way. So you're coming out of the, spa the, the spacer here, just come around and through the bead again. Just like that. See that? When I pull it through, this is what happens. It catches the bead and then I'm going to pull down and it's going to sit in one of those grooves right there. See that? I'm pulling a little bit tighter for this. Okay, see how it sits in a groove? So now you have your first bead on. Pick up an 11 0 and a, the 3 millimeter rondel. Come through the back of your spacer, just like that. See? up through the bead. It's a little clumsy for me to hold it like that, but I'll try to hold it so you can see it. So you see that? And when I pull, it sits in the next groove. Pick up an 11 0 a 3 millimeter. Now I can hold it a little better. Come through the back of the spacer, just like that, and then up the bead. That pops it into the next little groove. See the grooves in between here? Pick up an 11 0 and your rondelle, come through the back of the spacer, and up through the bead. One more time. Pick up 11 0. Run down. Come through the back of the spacer. And then up through the run down. That's all there is to it. Do it one more time. 11 0. Run down. The back. The spacer and then up through the rondelle. Give it a nice tug. I have six beads on. Put two more on and then meet me back here and we'll close the circle. We'll add one more 11 0 and close the circle. You'll see when we get there. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So we're going to connect the circle now. And I marked my last bead just because I think it would be easier for you to, for you to see how I connect. Really is easy. It's just, um, I'm a little neurotic. <laughs> okay, so I took my stop bead off, but this is the last bead, the, excuse me, the first bead we, that was sewn on. This is the last bead. Pick up an 11 0, that's all you need here. Come down, so this is the last bead. Come down the first bead. It connects that. It's like that. Now, come through the unit, this, you know, the, um, the circle and the spacer. Now I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to come up the previous bead. That's why I marked it so you could see where I'm coming up. So I'm coming up through the, that previous bead. So this is the last bead I put on, just like that. And then you're all connected. All right, so all we did was we added this bead. We came down this guy, we went through the, the front of the spacer, up through the previous bead, and out here. Okay? I hope you got that. Um, it really, and just wanted to secure the bead well. All right, so get that part done, and then meet me back here, and we'll do the real easy part. See you in a few. Okay, we're back, 
And, you know, I used one of these little alcohol wipes that I got from CVS, and it uh, took the, the permanent marker right off. Not that you should mark your beads, but it, it did take it off. <laughs> okay. So here's our little, this is what our unit's going to look like. So now you're going to use your contrasting bead. So this is my hematite, the rondelle, and a hematite. Just like that. You're coming out of here. Just come down the next bead, that next rondelle. Just like that. Now come up the next one. Pick up hematite, or whatever your contrasting bead is, the rondelle, and the hematite coming out of here. This rondelle, just come through this one, just come down through that bead. Come up. The next one down. Pick up hematite, rondel. Hematite coming out of here. Down this one. Come up. next one. Pick up a hematite, rondelle, and hematite. Coming out of here, down the next one. And up through the next rondelle. right next to that hematite, so just make sure you're just going through the rondelle. Just like that. Alright, so get that done, and then meet me back here and we'll put on the 15 O's. Alright, see you in a few. Okay, did I tell you this was easy? I mean, it's like stupid easy, right? Pick up, grab your 15 O's, pick up a 15 O, come through, The next, that 11 0. Just like that. Pick up a 15 0. Come. So we're going to pick this time, we're going to go down the rondelle, like that. Get that, make sure that pops into place. And then up this rondelle. You might have to just move your other beads out of the way. Just like that. Watch your tension here. Mine's a little tight. I could probably loosen up a little bit. Pick up a 15 0. Come through this one. Pick up a 15 0. Come down the next rondelle. Just like that. Come up. down. Do that two more times and then meet me back here. See you in a few. Okay, so I'm going to attach the last 15 0 That's how it should look. Come up the rondelle. And I'm just going to flip it over. And you want to come up that
the hematite above it, so I came up this one. I just flipped it over so I could get to it. And out of the, out this one, come through this one, and now you're ready to attach your units. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to attach a couple of units. All right, and then you could just go off on your own and have fun making these units. How easy is that? All right, so here are my two units. I'm just going to connect them with the hematite. So I'm coming out of here, come through this one, pick up a hematite, come through this one. See, this is a little right angle weave unit. Give it a pull. Just like that. And I'm just going to go around the unit that I just made just to tighten it up. And now you're attached. Now, you can do all kinds of stuff here. I mean, if you want to put, you can, you know, put a bead in, these these um, hematite beads might be nice with a bead in between here. So, you know, you just use your imagination here and, and, and whatever you love, put there. But this is the basic attachment. So just keep going and make as many units as you need. For my seven inch bracelet, I have seven units. And that fits me, it fit, you saw the fit on my wrist, it fits perfectly. So just, you can adjust. And if you are in between units, when you get to the, to the end, you can always make this part longer, this part longer. You can, you know, you can really play with it a little bit to get a, a length that you love. So this is how, so this is how this one's going to look when you attach it. You can even attach them this way. I mean, I see all kinds of possibilities. I'm even thinking... A ring, possibly. And as I said before, earrings, you can just put two together like this and make beautiful earrings too. And we can even go for like a fun necklace. So very versatile, very fun. Get your pieces, get all your components done and then meet me back here and I'll show you how easy it is to get that clasp on. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back and here's my, my mini bracelet. I think I might complete this one. So here's my clasp. So if you notice the magnetic clasp, the way the, the um, ring on it is facing. So you want it just like that. This one doesn't have it, so there are two jump rings that are on in that direction. So I'm just going to pick up hold on, a bead. I kind of, well, I kind of like this clasp, but we'll see how this works. I'm just going to come through the ring. Oh, this might be fine. Pick up another bead. Come through. So I'm using the hematite here. Just like that. Yeah, that worked out fine. And I'll just reinforce that. So I'm just going to come with this one back through the ring. Down through this one. How easy is that? I mean, this is probably the, the, the least stressful piece I've done in ages. <laughs> so easy. I love it when things are easy and they look pretty. All right, so now I have my class, one end of my clasp on. So get that done and get the other end on. It's the exact same thing with the other end. Get that done. Meet me back here and we will, um, we'll do, we'll just do a little segment on just the end of the earring here. Very easy drop addition, but I'll, we'll do it anyway. All right, see you in a few. All right, let's get the drop on this if you want, if you're, if you want to do the earring. So here's my drop. I think I'll use this guy. So I'm just going to come through. So I'm coming out of this bead here. Come through this one. I'm a little short on thread, but um, see how we can do. So pick up five seed beads corresponding bead or any bead you want here and another seed bead so a three millimeter another seed bead come through your drop 
pick up three 11 O's. Come back through the drop, the 11 O, the three millimeter, and another 11 O. Just sort of your basic little guy, Pico guy here. And, uh, <laughs> pick up four seed beads through the other side of the the rondelle there and that puts on your drop. See that? And now I don't have enough thread to to go you go around so you want to really just reinforce this all the way around and sew your threads in and then maybe back here and we'll put the, the ear hook on. See in a few. Okay we're back so let's get this ear wire on. So I'm coming out of the this top bead just like I was with the bracelet just going to pick up two 15 O's and the ear wire, and then two more 15 O's, like that. I come back through the other side. It's going to attach the hook. Come through all your beads. Oops. Again. <laughs> that should. Tighten them up. There we go. Come to the other side. I'll give that a little pull because it pulled. Okay, there we go. And then, if you want to add this little decorative bead on, pick up a 15 0. Go through here. Pick up a 15 0. Come back up and through the opening. And then you got it down again and do a little bit of reinforcing and you have your ear wire on. See? Alright, so get that done. Meet me back here and we'll look at our beauties. Alright, see you in a few. We're back and here are our beauties. So here's the mini bracelet. I think I might finish this one. I'm loving the turquoise. And look how different it looks from the um, the original bracelet. So really play with your colors and make it make it your own. Make it just beautiful. Here is the, the new earring. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you have fun playing with this very easy brick stitch, brick stitch piece. We'll have more brick stitch coming up soon. All right. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.